Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. Not so long ago, I had a problem with my table saw and I had to take it all apart. When I put it back together, I had to align the table saw blade with the miter slot. Stick around and I'll show you how I made a little jig to make that a lot easier. Alright, to make the jig, all you need is a piece of wood. In this case, this is a piece of oak about six inches square and I've chamfered the corner on one side and you'll see why in just a second. I drilled a couple of counter holes in it. Uh, I have a dial indicator that I picked up at Harbor Freight. I think they're about $20, $25 right in there. And I have a slider to fit in the miter slot. Now this slider I got from Micro Jig. It's called a Micro Jig Zero Play Guide Bar System. And the system comes with two of these guide bars. They fit any miter slot. They're adjustable. Comes with two in a package and a bunch of screws and things for mounting jigs to these slot or these guide bars. And what you do is you mount your piece of wood to the guide bar system. It's just a matter of there's already tapped holes in the guide bar system. And that gives you a jig that slides in the miter slot. Now, you attach the, the dial indicator to it, and that's just a screw through the hole on the side of the dial indicator. And that chamfer I was telling you about earlier, you can see right here, it allows the dial indicator to rotate a little further. Put your guide bar and your jig in the miter slot. You mark a tooth on your, on your saw blade. You put your dial indicator on that, just off that tooth. Set the dial indicator to zero. Rotate that tooth around to the other side. And read that same spot with your dial indicator and it tells you how your blade is in relationship to how parallel it is to your miter slot. If it's out of adjustment you just adjust your blade however it is for your table saw whether you adjust the top or the trunnions until you find that your blade is perfectly parallel to the miter slot. It's a nice low cost jig and it works really well. Well, that's about my jig. Now, there's a lot of other jigs that do the same thing that are on YouTube. The thing I like about my jig is I like this little slider bar, this guide bar system that Micro Jig makes. It's simple, it adjusts to any size guide bar. It's, the use for this thing is limitless. Uh, any jig you want to make where you have to have your guide bar in a, in a micro, uh, miter slot, this will work great. In fact, you could probably put two of these end to end and it would work great for a, a uh, cross cut sled. I like this because there's no wood movement and the ones that are, are uh, made out of wood, I don't have to worry about wood movement. There's no expansion and contraction. Uh, if it does wear a little bit, I can adjust it. It's totally zero play. Uh, I really, I, as you can tell, I really like this. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little build. Uh, it's a handy little jig to have. And I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. If you'd subscribe, that would be great. If you'd like to email me, my email address is going to be right here. It's Paul's Messy Workshop at gmail.com. 
So until next time, thanks for watching.